Hey guys, it's your girl Chantel the model, and I come to you today. We're going to discuss body positivity and what it means to me and what it should kind of mean to you. But stay tuned. So guys, tonight's conversation is about body positivity. If you don't know, as you should know, if you're following me, you must follow me on other social media sites. But if you don't, take this time right now to go follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and make sure you subscribe below. I'll wait. Well, Back to topic of conversation, body positivity. So I ran across this post today that somebody posted about body positivity and the models that they portray as body positive in different brands. So this statement was made and the statement states, uh, the plus size girls with no stomach and fat asses being the face of the body positivity movement is literally not what we mean by more representation. Give me belly, back rows, big calves, cellulite, big arms. Like, damn. When I first read that statement, which was on Instagram, and the crazy thing is, it was on another model's page who's a plus size woman. And she actually models with me. But that's neither here nor there because maybe that's how she feels. You also. don't see as many women in the forefront um, of marketing schemes when it comes to plus size fashion to have roles, which I've seen it plenty of times. The brand that I work with, she she's about putting all women on the forefront, not just women with flat stomachs. I am a stock model for her, but there are also other women on the website that are stock models for her with different body types being plus size women. So... Um, I kind of felt some type of way because I am a plus size woman and I do have a flat stomach and that should be, that should not be taken away from me because I am a plus size model with a flat stomach that they promote body positivity using, you know, I work hard for my body. I really can say I work hard for my body because not only am I a plus size model, I am a personal trainer, a fitness coach and a lifestyle coach. I do it all. And not to mention, I am a mom of four. Yes, I've had four children. So I've been through the ups and downs of body changes when it comes to women and what my body looks like, big, tall, round. Like, I've been there. So my body has changed drastically over the years. But I'm at a place in my life where I can maintain my weight and I love my body. So I'm always in the gym and I'm always encouraging other women to get in the gym, not to change your body, which it could help if that's the avenue that you're going for, but more so to feel better about yourself and have a healthier lifestyle for yourself. Uh, as we know, we're in a pandemic right now and health is very, very important um, because the people that are being affected by this COVID uh, have underlying issues. I try to promote more to my community of what I know about being plus size and being more healthy and loving yourself. Not to say that I don't do it for smaller women, but I can relate more to my plus size women because my I myself I am a plus size woman I am 245 pounds I'm 5'9 I have the measurements of a 38 30 34 55 inch so I am full woman plus size no one can take that away from me well, someone to say that they want to see more rose cellulite uh promoting uh, the body positivity movement, it kind of like blew me because I think I do very well promoting body positivity, not only on the stance of being plus size, but being any woman, because like, you also want smaller women who, what they consider average size to be, have body positivity, because not only do plus size women have insecurities, smaller frame women have insecurities about their self. We as women, we just have insecurities. So to understand what posi body positivity means, body positivity is a social movement initially created to empower and shed light on plus size men and women while challenging the way society presents and views the physical body. So basically we wanted the world as plus size people to accept us in this world of 
what they see as the image of what the body type is when not majority of the people who are pl who are living in this world is a small frame like most people in this world are plus size or ob obese is what doctors call it you cannot promote body positivity by putting down another size or shape of another woman or man that's just it like you cannot be a person on the forefront saying i think you should promote more cellulite more rolls because i have rolls and then another thing i would say a lot of people look at the the pictures on social media that are edited that our body has been manipulated you know by the camera or not by the camera or by the edits just to look a certain way because a brand wants you to look that way and you meet that person in person and their body is a little different they may be a little shorter they may not be as wide or they may be a little more wide because if you look on camera um prior to a lot of my shoots i had cellulite and i'm not ashamed to say i had cellulite yes i said had because i do regiments within my skincare process to reduce cellulite and any woman can so if you're not happy with your cellulite please understand and know that there are regimens that you can do to reduce if not rid cellulite the whole flat stomach thing if you're not happy with your body i say change it and i'm not saying doing it through surgery which some people are and i don't knock surgery for the people who do i just want people who have surgery to understand and learn how to maintain it after the surgery because it is it's pointless for you to go under the knife and get something that you don't know how to maintain later on down the line with your lifestyle that you are currently living so i always promote the gym and fitness because not only does it change you physically it also changes you mentally and it's a whole different run you become a whole different person you know work doing the hard way versus going under the knife and taking that route to you know for your body to change but neither here nor there if you don't even want to change your body and you are madly in love with yourself stay that way do not push the image of what body positivity is and ban one set of people because we have flat stomach big hips and a lot of people are buying this but i myself i am a naturally built plus size woman with a small a flat stomach and a round ass and i still work on maintaining this in the gym because i could eat something tomorrow and it could be one donut and that's going it's going to hell quick it's really going to hell fast i work hard for my body in the gym um to get to where i want to be and i think people think as plus size women just because we scream plus size we scream this having rolls having curves having big butts having cellulite that you should not still take care of your your health and fitness that is necessary i even think being a model every model if you are if you are in front of the camera you should at some point in your career you should be working out fitness should be important fitness should be included in that and i don't care how big or how small because i can work out to death and i do not want to be under a size uh under the weight of 200 pounds i'm i don't like i love the weight i am now 245 pounds and i am killing it like let's be real and then when it comes to me being that person that image that is put out there to promote body positivity i don't see what the problem is because i think i do it very well you know not only am i a plus size woman i'm dark skinned so that's always been a battle in my life my weight has always been a battle in my life so things like that and i'm overcoming those obstacles for nobody to knock it down to say that my natural body that I have, I was born with because this is uh, inherited because it runs in my family uh, and me maintaining my weight in the gym. I don't think anybody should look down on what I'm trying to uh, portray as body positivity because I don't knock the next girl. I don't talk down about the next weight and I fall dead in the center I mean, dead in the center of the image of what people are battling over. Either you're too skinny or you're too big or you're too curvy or you're too skinny. Like, it's just too much. 
no two people in this world are alike. I really want people to understand that. I don't even want to live in this world where people look alike, where people talk alike, where people act alike. What fun would that be? So I don't think people should knock the next person for what they look like, how they feel about themselves, because I can be this size and I can be insecure and I can have the perfect body to what everybody else may think is the perfect body because that's what it is or what they want to look like but i could not be happy in my skin so to promote body positivity is to show the world that i love the way i look i love me for where i am in life and what my body looks like nobody can tell me i'm ugly and i can believe it nobody can tell me i'm fat and i can believe it nobody can tell me i'm out of shape and i'm gonna believe it because i know what i am and i know what i stand for and i know what i want to accomplish in this world and nobody can take that away from me so for people to think that body positivity should actually be for plus size women who uh, haven't gotten the recognition in this industry or haven't gotten the recognition in this world because society says that plus size women are obese. Plus size men, are just, that's not fair. That's not fair at all. Because just because I don't have roles in the places that you think I should have roles, Oh, hunty, I still have rolls. Just because you don't think my thighs clap just as loud as the next person's thighs, they still clap. Just because my arms don't jiggle a lot more, they still jiggle. So it's not fair to put somebody else down and then say you want to promote pos body positivity in a different light and you want to see more cellulite back. That's not right because that's not initially promoting body positivity. If you're going to promote body positivity, you have to show the world that you are comfortable in who you are and that no matter what you look like at any time in your life, you're going to walk with your head held high and you're going to be the best version of yourself for other people around you to see that of you. That's what body positivity is. Loving the body that you're in. Showing the world that it's okay to be whatever size they are. It's okay to love yourself. It's okay to change the things that you don't like about yourself. But be positive and stay on that positive vibration to do better for yourself. To always be a better person than you were the day before. So being positive and sharing that positive note, it doesn't matter if you're size one or two because the size one or two, they may not be happy in their skin. And those would be the main women wishing they were more curvy, wishing they were plus size. And on the other end of the spectrum where a woman is plus size and she wish she was smaller versus a woman who's plus size and loving herself and flaunting it, even if she had rolls, even if she had a flat stomach, if, even if she didn't have cellulite, even if she did have cellulite. That should not be taken away from anybody. Like I said, no two bodies are alike. No two people are alike. It is our job to promote self-love and love on yourself so other people around you can respect you and love on you too. That's it. I take pride in being the face of a lingerie company for a plus size women all over the world. I take pride being the CEO of Curves to Fit, allowing women to know that we can be curvy and we can still be fit and healthy at the same time. There is no scale size. There is no weight limit of what fitness is. Because I probably can run outrun somebody who is 100 pounds lighter than me. All because I, take, I have taken my health into consideration and I want it better for myself. And all it takes is you wanting better for yourself or hell, if you don't want better for yourself and you're happy where you are, I'm happy for you. As long as you are happy with yourself. But at the same time, I also want you to always take care of yourself because you could be happy at the biggest size and you could be happy at the smallest, unhealthiest size. But you still have to take care of your health, your heart, your brain blood, bump, like all that stuff, you have to take care of yourself in order for your body to keep functioning. And it does not matter what size you are. It does not matter. It does not matter. Health has no weight limit. 
I don't care how often you go to the doctor and you jump on the scale and they say, oh, Miss Green, you're obese. You're overweight for your height. You're overweight for your age. But I can run. I can breathe. I can bend down and tie my shoe. Like, I can do those things. So it never should be anything where you're fat shaming somebody or skinny shaming people because of the size they are or because you don't see enough of what you look like in everyone else around you. That means you need to learn to surround yourself with other people, other brands that promote that body type. And like I said, I work for one of those brands that promote all body types, flat stomachs, big stomachs, rolls, everything. No, all brands do not promote that. And it's okay that maybe that's not the brand you should be supporting. Maybe you should come to the rank where we are over here at Kelly's Closet. Encourage the fit, living our best life. Showing different body sizes and different body shapes to the world. Stop being stuck on those brands who aren't putting that out for you. If they aren't putting it out for you, don't spend your money there because this is your money. And if you feel as though you could do a lot better than a lot of us models out here who are working hard because this job is not easy to promote body positivity because we get slapped down, criticized at every turn point all the time. Y'all just see the glitz and glam of, but it's still backlash like the one we received today. Like this was uh, almost like a slap in the face for me. Because I'm naturally built like this. Yes, I gained weight and I did have a, a bigger stomach. But I went to the gym and I worked that off. But it, the crazy thing is, I still have my fupa, however you guys want to call it. I call it my crank kangaroo pouch. And the reason I call it my kangaroo pouch is because that's where I carried my babies. And thanks to them, it's not going anywhere. And I'm okay with that because I have four beautiful children to show for that. I do. I'm in the best shape of my life. As just I am. I'm in the best shape of my life. And I have four children and I have cellulite. Well, minimal cellulite now because, you know, I it's body regimens that you can do for certain things. So pay attention to those brands who focus more on your body type if that makes you feel comfortable. Because every brand is not going to cater to you if you haven't learned that yet. Every brand is not catered for everybody. No matter how much you want to see a plus size woman in something a brand that you love. They just will not promote or market towards that brand because that's not what they carry. And it's okay because as a business owner and an entrepreneur, I know my niche and I know I'm not marketing to women small. Don't get it twisted now. Curves to fit is for plus size women, but I'm not marketing towards the smaller frame woman. I'm not marketing towards a size two. I'm marketing towards my more plus size women because I want more plus size women to take their health and fitness into consideration to better themselves for health, not for body change. Now, if that's something you want to change, I'm here to help with that too. But at the same time, I also want to show plus size women that you could be plus size. And you can still be fit and you can look good while doing it. I'm not trying to be under a size 200 ever. I'm not. It's just not. I don't even remember being under a size. Maybe back in high school, but hell, I was running the reign of 180, 190 then. So, as I, there's nothing I would want to change about myself as of now. Like, there's nothing. If there is something, I can work on it in the gym over time. It's nothing I'm trying to kill myself day in and day out to change about my body. So body positivity is not only about plus size women who have roles, who have cellulite. I'm a plus size woman who has minimal roles, minimal cellulite, and I still promote body positivity. Why? Because I want everybody to feel comfortable in their skin. I want everybody to feel good about their body. And if you don't feel good about your body, hit me up. I'll help you. I am a fitness coach. I keep saying that. I am a fitness coach. I will help you. It's a lifestyle change. Fitness coach and trainer are two different things, and I do both. I fitness coach and I train. But it's all it all starts in your mind and wanting to be a better person for you. Nobody else matters. Only you matter. 
And if you feel as though those brands that you love so much is not promoting towards your body type, move on to another brand because I can guarantee you there are so many dope brands out there that promote your body type and the clothes that fit you well. Stop giving your money to boutiques that aren't promoting towards you. And it's okay because there's billions of people in this world that could possibly buy that product. You may not just be one of them and that's okay. Your friend who's a size 10 may look good in that, but me a size 16, 18 doesn't fit me well and I'm okay with that. I could tell my homegirl, girl, you look fly, but I could never wear that and it's okay because what's for me is for me. What's for you is for you. But don't shame anybody else because we may have a flat stomach. We may have just a little less cellulite because I work hard not only for myself and the brand that I own, but I work hard to be a Kelly's Closet lingerie model. I do. I work hard to be that model. And yes, you still, as a model, you still should be taking care of your body and be working out to be better in every aspect of your career and what you're trying to accomplish during your career. That's all I say. So be positive. And if you're going to be positive and promote body positivity, you have to promote it on all levels, not just plus size. Because plus size people aren't the only people that's feeling it. You also have people who what society considers to be average size having issues with their body type. They feel insecure too. I'm just here to show love all across the board. And I'm here to let every woman know that she should love their body. And that's it. So until next time, guys, peace.